Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. 49ers Insider Drops Exciting Update After Brandon Ayuk Holdout, Report The San Francisco 49ers have yet to give Brandon Ayuk a new contract, but the end to the extension saga appears to be coming soon. Ayuk has risen into a starring role with San Francisco, but he, understandably, wants to be paid like a star. There has been constant chatter about Ayuk potentially being traded this offseason, but no deal has materialized. After a recent report from NFL Network insider Tom Palacero, it's clear the 49ers aren't letting Ayuk walk. This was a good meeting, Palacero said on June 26. Both sides said things that needed to be said, and they are going to keep working. There hasn't never been a trade request from Brandon Ayuk. That hasn't changed. The 49ers stance hasn't changed either, despite getting trade calls on Ayuk going back to draft week. They are moving forward, and they want Ayuk to be a part of the team in 2024. It hasn't been an easy offseason, but the fact that both sides want the same thing is a big deal. Ayak can get a massive payday with a new team, but he won't find a team in win-now mode quite like the 49ers are. While the timeline is not exactly clear, the 49ers have seemingly been negotiating with Ayak since the playoffs. San Francisco has been able to extend other key names like RB Christian McCaffrey and fellow WR Jawan Jennings, but things have gone far slower with Ayak. San Francisco Chronicle reporter Mike Silver revealed one of the team's offers on June 6. During an appearance on KNBR, Silver explained that the 49ers' proposal at the beginning of June would have made Ayuk one of the top 10 highest-paid WRs, I'm hearing their offer is in the $26 million range, which certainly is not Justin Jefferson money, nor should it be, but it's closer to that of Devonta Smith, a Monterey St. Brown, that next tier down, Silver said. While that is a sizable salary, what Ayuk and his agents are demanding is not known. He may be holding out for a $30 to $35 million deal, which would make him a top three highest paid WR. If talks break down and the 49ers aren't able to extend the WR, they aren't in immediate trouble. ESPN reporter Adam Schefter pointed out on June 21 that San Francisco can franchise tag him. That would keep Ayuk around through the 2025 season. The 49ers absolutely do want Brandon Ayuk back but not at the price he's seeking, Schefter said on the Pat McAfee show. They have always wanted him back and they were never serious about trading him. The 49ers could franchise tag Brandon Ayuk again next year if they wanted to. Let's see what happens when training camp is underway. Having to franchise tag Ayuk would be the worst-case scenario as things stand. But it would at least lock in his services for another season, while also giving San Francisco another offseason to trade him if worst comes to worst. Longtime quarterback calls out Brock Purdy slander as BS. It might take a few years and a few different contexts before the overwhelming majority of pundits and analysts fully give the due respect to San Francisco 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy. Despite setting numerous records in his first full year as a starter in 2023, while also leading the league in a number of significant categories including passer rating, 113.0, and yards per attempt, 9.6, the final pick of the 2022 NFL draft still carries the stigma of being, well, carried by his team. Sure, an all-pro supporting cast and a quarterback-friendly offense under head coach Kyle Shanahan help. This, despite being in the final running for NFL MVP last season. But that shouldn't completely derail the argument that Purdy has worked his way up to the upper echelons of current quarterbacking play and he's got a bona fide fan in one former well-established quarterback who isn't buying the Purdy slander. Speaking from the annual tight end university with NBC Sports Bay Area's Jennifer Lee Chan, former starting quarterback Matt Hasselbeck, who spent 17 years in the league and was a three-time pro bowler, offered up his take on Purdy and countered the frequent criticism the former Iowa State signal caller continues to receive. Hasselbeck said, Brock Purdy is a baller. People say, 
Oh, he doesn't have well throws. B.S. Turn the tape on. That guy has well throws. He's a great quarterback. I know he might not win a combined competition or whatever, but he would win a quarterback competition in my mind. I think he's a great player. The longtime Seattle Seahawks quarterback, who spent time with ESPN as an analyst until 2023, understood that while Purdy's numbers can be inflated by having an all-star level of talent surrounding him, the immediate decision-making process ultimately sets Purdy apart. Hasselbeck added, I think a lot of it is decision-making in a split second. It's also making the throw at the moment of truth. Purdy seized the opportunity, took advantage of it, and he made those big-time throws in a split second when they needed them to be made. A lot of guys out there are like, oh, I could have done that. Yeah, but you didn't when the opportunity arose. He took advantage of it, and I don't think they'll ever look back. It seems as if Purdy will continue to receive criticisms regardless of others like Hasselbeck coming to his support. Perhaps those simply can't get over the fact Purdy was a seventh-round draft choice, the final one selected in his class. Or they feel that any decent quarterback can thrive in that kind of context, even though plenty of other Niner signal callers have failed to do so despite similar circumstances. Either way, Hasselbeck isn't buying the Purdy slander. Albert Breer, the 49ers should sign Justin Simmons. The 49ers currently have $31.4 million in salary cap space, sixth most in the NFL, and an elite safety remains unsigned. Four-time All-Pro safety Justin Simmons is a free agent, and Sports Illustrated's Albert Breer wants the 49ers to sign him. I love the idea of Justin Simmons in either the Vic Fangio style of defense he's played in for the Broncos since 2019, or in a Seattle Seahawks type of defense, writes Breer. That's why I'd really love to see him as the center fielder in the Niners' defense, which has historically played the Seattle Three scheme, and also just brought aboard Brandon Staley, whom Simmons knows well, from the Fangio tree. Houston would be another fun fit for Simmons, for some of the same reasons. Simmons is 30 and probably wants no less than $15 million per season, which is why he's still a free agent. The longer he waits, the cheaper he could become, considering there clearly isn't a robust market for his services. So the 49ers could wait until August to sign him if he's still available. Or he simply could be out of the 49ers' price range, considering they're trying to extend Brandon Ayuk's contract and signing Simmons would make extending Ayuk even more difficult to do. But the 49ers technically can afford Simmons, and he would greatly improve a defense that fell off when all-pro safety Talanoa Hufanga went down with a torn ACL last season. It's unclear how good he'll be when he returns. Unfortunately for Simmons, the 49ers historically don't spend big money on safeties, so I doubt he'll end up in San Francisco. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Justin Simmons? Leave your opinion in the comments.